don't speak highly enough about this. Oh, oh, I just bit my tongue, you son of a biscuit eating mother. What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. Oh, Fupu. You know, ah, there's a lot of people that believe I'm on the payroll of Fupu. And I wouldn't, I would be lying if I told you I wasn't. But here's the deal. Uh, I, I kind of wish I was on the payroll. Like they sent me 10 grand a month just to make sure that I do all the reviews properly. You know, I would sell out. I would sell out tomorrow just because there's a lot of things that I want that need a lot of money. And, well, I think Fubu could help me achieve that, especially with the PMTA process and everything. Anyway, let's get aside from the jokes and let's be real for a moment. So, Vupu has created a massive amount of things. You guys remember they did the drag series. Oh, my God. Everybody had one. Then they did your drag too. A lot of people got that, but they were still more focused on the drag. When I tell you that the drag is one of the most popular mods that have ever been made, I am not exaggerating in the slightest. I think the only thing I would compare to it would be the smoke alien. Like those were it. You either had an alien or you had a dragon. Obviously, the drag came out after the alien, but everybody loved it. It was just the thing, man. It, it was. And then there was a huge hiccup with the Vanny Vape situation and Tony B, and then that kind of fizzled out. And then Vupu came back with a vengeance. They made so many products that have been so good. And they were one of, if not the first company to actually make it where their coils are cross compatible with newer devices. And you know how much I love that. I hate, as a business-wise, and also as a consumer, but more so on the business side, of having to get a product, stock it in your store, and then carry the coils for that new product. It is absolutely obnoxious. Especially when every single week it's a new TFE tank. Obviously, it has nothing to do with Vaporesso, but I, and I'd be lying to you if I told you that Vaporesso wasn't part of that click. It was just a thing, a new coil, a new, a new, a new device. But the issue is, I'm saying Vaporesso, but I really mean Vupu. You get what I'm saying. Okay, so anyway, uh, well, Vaporesso did the same shit too. They've been doing the line of making their coils cross compatible, and oddly enough, now Smoke is doing it. I just did a review on the TFE Nod Jammy, and that uses the Baby Beast. So, did really Vupu set the precedence? <laughs> I guess you could use the argument and say Aspire did it with the Nautilus, and then the Nautilus call worked in a lot of products. But if we're talking about a newer age, and guys, I am not being dramatic with you. I swear to God and everything holy, I have been using their PNP pod tank. Ever since I did a review on the Argus, and I had an issue with the coils, check out this video right here that will fix all of your issues with the PMP coils. Anyway, so they sent me this guy. It's called the Drag Max. The Drag 2, I wasn't the biggest fan as it was the Drag 1. And then they made the Drag S and then the Drag X, but that didn't really fall in the same bracket. They're more all-in-one pod-style systems. They also sent me this. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if companies or they have something to do with artery. I don't really believe it. I don't. But uh, it, it is possible. Who the hell knows? They sent me this, which is essentially a, like a massive kit. Did China finally wake up or use the new word of woke? Are they finally woke? And they're like, oh, Jay Hayes is still doing reviews. Let's send him some nice shit so we get that little bit of extra, extra. Read all about it. All right, so let me just open. I, this thing is massive. I have I have no idea anything about this product, but we're about ready to figure it out. So without further ado. Flip it. So before we go over this little sweet jam, we are going to open this up and see what is inside of this. This is probably how you're going to buy it. But before we do that, let's go ahead and put this big ass falafel right here in the center of the screen. Vupu Spark Your Life Drag Max. Really super badass box. Like this is just extremely, extremely nice. I, I cannot fit all of this. Yep. Okay. Oh, yep. 
All right, there it is. Sounds good. And then on the back of the box, some of the information in regard to the company, the address. This is the color configuration, Galaxy Blue. You also get a little sticker. One is retro, one is Galaxy Blue. On the bottom of this, you're going to have a scratch and sniff. This is going to taste and smell just like remote. Okay, so let's just open this up and see what we got inside. Guys, this is massive. This is going to be very difficult for me to fit. I feel like this is going to be either more than one or I have no idea. It's like opening up a pair of shoes. Jiminy Cricket. Okay, here we go. Holy sugar toes. Okay, so on that, that is what's on the top lid. Very good. And then in here, this looks nice. Looks like SpaghettiOs. Uh, let me, okay. I'm just going to have Brie clean that up so it looks a little bit better. Wow, wow, wow. So inside this kit, we have the PNP pod. Now, I don't know if you could buy it this way. I'm assuming you could only get it just like this with this and probably one of these accessories. But here's what they have. They have a two mil option. And I use the shit out of this guy right here. Guys, I'm not joking. Just go watch my Twitch channel at night. This is all that I use right here. But check out this sweet number. <laughs> oh, we're going to use this. This even looks good. I, I don't need to use this. I really don't because I have this exact pod that I use. And I, I know people were saying that this is kind of a sub ohm tank. I don't know if I would consider it that, but this, this really interests me a lot. Okay, this is, this is just, wow. We're going to have to look at that closer up. And then on the bottom of the box, there is nothing, however... You get this little sweet number. Let's take a look at this, too, because I've never seen this little guy. So we'll close that up, and we'll just we'll go into the smaller version before we get into the RTM and we'll get into the mod. But this is essentially the same thing as the regular one, but it's just a very, very minute situation. The drip tip does not appear to come out, and it's very, very difficult to grab, but it is dainty as hell. I'll show you what that looks like on the inside. Again, I've talked and spoke so, well, talk, spoke, speak, spoken. I've spoken, I've speaked. I've said a lot of things about the PMP pod. So yeah, now this is the other one. I'm gonna try to hold this all together. There you go, zoom out a little bit. These are all the different coils. That was in the side. So there you go, you got the, holy shit. I don't know if I've ever seen this one before, the VM5. I usually use the VM3, which is right here. No. I didn't put them in in any order. I didn't know. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I use this one, the VM1, the point three. I don't know if I've ever seen this. I've seen the point six before, which is this one. Obviously, the coils might not match, but it's not the point. The point is, what's this gold one? Yeah, I've heard about this. I, I did. They, they did send me this, but I never really reviewed it just because it's very, very small. However, we are going to look at that. And then on the bottom of this, check this out. This is attached. You get a little coil with some post screws, an Allen key, Barbie screwdriver. It looks like a rod, it's kind of a mouth to lung coil there, and some O-rings, and then, of course, some cotton all attached to the back of it. Uh, again, I am not sure if you could buy it this way. Keep in mind that you probably will not see this type of uh, display, but before we go over this, let's go over this little RBA section. I don't know why they went with gold. I guess you really to, to signify, hey, this is the RBA. And then there's your RBA head. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, wow, that is tiny. So you put a single coil in there. It is perpendicular. They are not parallel. So you could fit four wraps or so, and then your cotton goes in here. It's just a very, very small bridge. That's, that's basically what it is. Super, super nice. Not a big fan of the gold. But that's it. It's uh, And you could buy those. They're not very difficult to find. But again, going back over here, you could use any of the coils inside of this. You could use the RBA head, the 1.2, which is probably why they have this small rendition. Now, this is what intrigues me the most because this looks pretty badass. This is the RBA head. Well, this would be the head. This would be the actual... What does it say on the box? Just dripper thing rta pod it looks like a dripper with a clear casing and here's the kicker you fill it up from the bottom wow 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 it's 
only two mils though. Machining looks to be pretty good. You do see some machine marks. It's nothing too crazy. Let's take a look at the deck on the inside here. Ooh, that threading. Wow. Okay. So what we have here is kind of just looks like it looks like a dripper inside of a clear. Does that come out? Yeah, I am playing with that. It looks like there's an O-ring in there, but I'm not. It just looks like a little dripper. But this, you'd put your build in here. And the airflow, I'm going to put a build in this. Absolutely, I am. Yep. One one issue, though, I'm going to need the little adapter that this screws into or sits in for me to adjust that, that build. And check out the way that you do that, huh? There's no little lip that sticks up. Well, there is, but it's minuscule. It's just a regular deck. I do like this a lot, man. I do. I am digging that. So if you don't want to rebuild this and put this in here, you're able to get the RTA pod and then just rebuild that. So let's go over the mod, right? Now, here's the thing. I I don't want to compare this necessarily to the Argus because, well, it's the drag series and it's not the Argus series because the Argus is essentially its own line. And I have to kind of give them a high five for that because maybe other companies like Geek Vape and shit need to think about that before they keep labeling things the new Aegis. Or the new this. You know, stop doing that. Wow, even more coils. Stop doing that. And that's what Vupu's doing. Here's the drag series. Here's the Argus series. There's your little user manual. And then, of course, you get some more coils. Let's see what they are on the inside. You get your little USB-C. I know how big that is for most people. Don't use this to charge anything but the mod. So what we're going to have here is the point .2 and the Point one five. I can tell you right off the jump, I know it's not fair for me to compare this, but there is a big difference between this and the original drag. The original drag has a 510. This does not. This has what the drag X does and the drag S. I don't know if they make a 510 adapter for these. I I don't think so. Basically on the Argus, right, there's a little thing that screws into it, right? And then you can use these. This, however, does not come with this. So it really is essentially its own situation. What you have is down here, you have your little airflow, just like the Drag X, Drag S series. I feel like they should have named this something a little bit different because when you look at the second rendition or the first rendition, they're they're really kind of different. 510s, no 510. Very much lighter than what these are. And then here is the original to give you a size comparison. Neck to neck. Uh, it is a little bit thinner. Uh, it's not so much taller, but they're making... They have this weird adapter plug situation. Now, if they would have made this taller so this was flush, it would have looked funny. I guess you could use the argument that it looks funny the way that it is now, but maybe... Well, they have to do that to make sure that it doesn't wobble around. So that's kind of the way that it is. It does have a little bit of a bevel here. I guess you'd have to really get used to that. Very, very, very skinny in the hands. The drag on the side, very, very nice. And then here is the original right here. And just to show you that if you are interested in the RTA section, take this off. Would you look at that? So now you could buy this right here. I could promise you is it's ingenious. It's like a quick release, little sweet number RTA section. I absolutely love that. Fire button up and down. Very, very different from the previous generations. On the bottom, well, let's see if we see any things, dense burst, burst, cowboy boots, nothing. I do like that. That little bit of whatever that is, that polycarbonate or resin over that. It's kind of pretty. It looks like glass. Well, I guess that matches the leather. Right, and then there you go, open it up, close it up. Let's just open up the retro so you can see what that looks like versus the galaxy blue. This actually looks pretty cool though. I guess this is brown or tan. That is the tan version. Wow, that is, that looks better than the blue. This feels gougier, almost like a padded leather. Is that brown or tan? Brown, okay. Yeah, uh, and, and that does come with, obviously, this. I, I don't think any of these are actually going to come with the RTA pod. Just keep that in mind. Let's open up. Put some batteries in it. Door. Not floppy at all. Very, very sturdy. You have your positive, negative, polarity listed. And then down there on the bottom, it is not listed. So we're just going to go positive here. Negative here. Put in. Is there a good enough lip? So if you see a little latch there. Push down, push in. Let's see if that 
no no rattle and then there is the display while wow, that looks pretty good there's a lot of information on that screen wow that is a lot of information so they're going with that okay what do we got 177 it's a different number one two three there's your rebuildable option one two three and then back to the smart. If you hold the fire and the up button, that is going to lock the mod. Yep. And then you cannot fire it. And then to unlock it, you hold those two together. If you hold the up and down together, that is going to allow you to change a the theme. You have iron. I guess that's the default. And then core. And then maybe hold down the button. Oh, wow. So that is a landscape type of view, which is... I almost like that better because there's less information, but it's kind of the first time I've ever seen a theme aside from the vape droid that flips like that. So just hold those two again. I'll bring it back to the original. And then on the bottom, you got your little wheel there. Let's see what else you got on the screen. So on the screen, you got your puff, resistance, voltage, time. If you hold it down in the fire, that's going to clear the puffs. It's very, very simple for what it is. What we're going to do real quick is we're going to put the RTA section and put a build in it because I know what those PNP coils taste like. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put the RBA section in and that's what we're going to build because I know what that PNP coil already tastes like. There's your USB on the bottom. That's nice that it's not on the bottom of the mod because then you, well, just lose juice. So let's put a build inside of this little sweet number. This is different because I was not expecting to do this. Let us begin. Let's, those screws are very, very tiny. Here we go. So I'm going to be putting a dual, dual 28 with 38 on the outside. Let's do it. Close your eyes. Good job. Close your eyes. Good job. Now I, I looked at this. I said, "What in the shit is that?" That's actually the plug that you use to fill it. Let's see what we're picking up at. And that's smart mode. So we're gonna one, two, three. Bring that into RBA. Bring that up. Let's heat this up. Let's finish it up. Once again, that is the drag Ma max X max max X max M micro max drag max kit. Let's bring it on the top. All right, it's a little bit different. We're using that drag max with the little PNP pod RTA. Look at that little cute. Oh, I forgot to look at the smaller one. Doesn't really matter because that's two mils and it's just gonna reduce it down here. Okay, I'm a little nervous. I am. It would have been super cool if this was black, but it looks like a little baby dripper. It's super adorable. That's it. All right, here we go. 0.58 build, 52 watts. That's a lot of power. Let's just bring it down to 40 watts. There's the screen with the RBA option. Let's do it. Okay, so here's the deal. This is going to be tough. I want to rate it off of this, right? But I can't. Why? Because first off, you're not going to be able to get that kid. I feel like that's a reviewer-specific type of box. I, 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 unless, of course, you can buy it that way. I am not sure. But if I was to rate it like that, it would be unfair to you. It would be unjust. Why are you Why are you rating it like that when you know we can't buy that? That's what I would say if I was watching someone do the review. I wouldn't type it like a fucking warrior or a chieftain. I just wouldn't think that in my head. So it's not fair. But I'm going to tell you this right now. If you own 
the Drag X, the Drag S, the Argus, the little, even if you use no Vupu products and you use just that base with the PMP pod tank, uh, buy this. That's it. That, oh, let's just move on to the whole device now. If they made it this small and this short, if they made this as a four mil option, it wouldn't be that much taller and it would look absolutely adorable. Even as a two mil, because, well, you could put the build you want. Like for instance, I'm running a 0.5 point, well now it's 0.58, but it was 0.5 second a second ago. You think that you get some type of voltage drop. Okay, there is a downfall that I have with this. I, I'm gonna talk too much about this RTA section. The only downfall I have is that if you buy this product, you cannot use your own product, like your own RDA or RTA. That's where their other platforms, like the Argus, would shine. It's almost like they should have named this Argus and then this the drag, because this is more similar to the original drag than what this is. Okay. They're different animals. They really are. I use the shit out of the PMP pod tanks. That's all that I use. And I use the Cerberus a little bit, but that's because I just have so many of the coils. I cannot speak highly enough about the PMP. I cannot speak highly enough about the subtle. Oh, I just bit my tongue, you son of a biscuit eating mother. Okay. The RTA section. I'm going to just rule that out. As far as the device is concerned, if you like the Drag X and the Drag S, I could see why they did this to upgrade from the single battery to a dual battery. The feel of this, nice, no sharp edges, the fire button, the screen, how you can make it landscape, portrait, very easy to adjust. I mean, you could change the thing, but you can't change the colors. But then again, I don't know if Vupo has ever made it where you could change the colors of the, the Armor Pro. You're, that's Vaporesso. Not the same. I don't think they've ever done it. It's just kind of what they have. This doesn't have the achievements. The puff counter being five digits, I could dig it. Would have preferred six. But once you hit 99,999, that's a lot of hits. Just make sure. And they should make it a little bit more difficult. I know it doesn't really have to do with the performance of the mod to reset the puff. Because if you're just playing around and you're, you're really, you know, just calculating that hit counter, I understand that people don't think that that's a big deal, but, but it is. You can see how many hits you got off of a coil and compare it with the next one. You can see how long you've been using the mod. And the good thing is it doesn't reset when you take the batteries out. For instance, we're at 1.9. I don't know if you could see that. Disconnect the batteries. Reconnect the batteries. Vupu on the screen. Drag next. There it is. Point one on. So it keeps it. So I, I like that. I do. I do. I like this mod. <laughs> Even if I had the other pod on this, I would like this. But if you're going to get this with the hopes of putting your own device on like you were the previous drag, you are not going to be able to do that. I am not aware if they make like an adapter. I don't see why they couldn't. Well, then you wouldn't be able to screw it on. So you saw when I was building the RTA section, I had to take it off and then screw it down tight because it's just going to spin, right? It's just connected by magnets. No matter how many times you do that, it's going to do nothing. The good thing is, too, also with this, I don't think I mentioned this on the original drag, the X and the S, is that if you drop this, this tank isn't going to break the 510 because it's just going to fall out. Like, it, that, that's it. It's not, it's secure in a fashion with magnets, but it's not so secure that it's going to shatter the connection. And it is a proprietary connection, but if they made an adapter that would go in there, or you could take it off, put it on a 510, like a quick release. I actually did one of these, but if you did a quick release to where you could put your own drip on it, then you could put it on top of that, and this way it would be flush with this. Of course, it would look a little funny because of this little edge, but I feel like you could fit, well, we'll see right now, probably a 28 on the top of there. Yep, sure enough, look at that. So if they did make an adapter for it, real simple, real simple. And that's a little, so there you go, Vupu, that is an idea. Usually I do not do this for companies, but for you guys, you take care of me, I take care of you. I would 100% take this and then put a 510 on top of it so it's flush and then you could use whatever you want. Now you kind of conquered all markets. I really like this idea. I do. I, what do I have to say about the mod? <laughs> the 
the airflow is the same as the Drag X, Drag S. I do like this too, your little airflow section, if you want to reduce it, you don't actually touch the tank, you do the same thing here. Again, manipulating the same thing that's on the Drag X and the Drag S. There is not a lot of negatives that I have for this, man. I really don't. As far as the RTA, I feel like it should just be four mils. It doesn't have to do with this. It does, that, that's just actually reviewing the RTA section. All in all, man, I'm not going to use the PMP pops. I don't need to because I need those calls for home because I use it so much. If I had to rate this device on a 0 to 10, if we're assuming you get this with just the original section, the, the little tank and the two coils, like when I showed you the retro one, absolutely, friggin lootly, man, an 8 to an 8.5. If you manage to get it where they sell it with the pod and the RTA section, 8.5 to like a 9. That is make or break deal for me. Oh my God. Hands down. I This 120%. This is, with the RTA section, the best product that Vupu has ever made. If you're not a big fan of PMPs then it's probably going to be the Argus over this. But keep in mind that when you get the Argus, you get that adapter. <sighs> you have to ask yourself, do you want something with a 510? Or do you want something with uh, a pod tank? And then there's your answer. Definitely the best products that come out of China would be the Argus and this, without a doubt. Without a doubt. So if I'm settling on a score, I'm going to go... Oh, I feel like 8.5 is a little too high. We'll go 8.2. That's good enough. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jeez, I'm 